nuclear winter oof what would the world be like and how would people live during nuclear winter hypothetically so what's a nuclear winter so i'm sure no one remembers it because no one was around but there was an impact event about 66 million years ago okay the chicxulub impact event you want to see where it is uh, let me show you yucatan peninsula mexico here's mexico and here is yucatan okay and if you look at uh, yucatan then there is the city of merida and there's the town of chicxulub here this town chicxulub is the is roughly the epicenter of that impact event the impact was an asteroid which slammed into the into the earth and it, and there's this massive underground crater that you can detect if you have the means of doing so chicxulub so that impact event killed off it triggered a mass extinction on the planet it killed off the non avian dinosaurs and lots of other species on the planet our ancestors the little mammals they survived which is why we are here and the avian dinosaurs also survived which is why we have birds out there dinosaurs still exist they're birds but the rest of these species went extinct especially the large ones the large species the dinosaurs big ones so that's kind of a nuclear winter scenario so now that we understand that so so what happened when this object this asteroid slammed into the planet massive explosion gigantic explosion millions of times the uh, energy output of the hiroshima nuclear test and a tremendous amount of of soot of dust of carbon of of all that of vaporized rock etc was thrown up into the atmosphere and it completely crowded the atmosphere and there was no sunlight direct sunlight on the planet for about a decade roughly give or take so when there is no sunlight plants die because plants get their energy and food through the process of photosynthesis which requires light sunlight if there is no light plants die if the plants die herbivorous animals die if herbivorous animals die the carnivorous animals that eat those herbivorous animals they also die so what's left only the little little beings are able to somehow survive until sunlight returns and then things go back to over time to normal a nuclear winter scenario is very similar to that so how does a nuclear winter happen and what does it look like a nuclear winter happens if there is a massive nuclear exchange involving hundreds or thousands of nuclear warheads so hundreds or even thousands of nuclear explosions these explosions will web every nuclear explosion on the surface or near the near the surface it vaporizes part of the earth's surface a small amount of the earth's surface it throws up a tremendous amount of debris into the atmosphere vaporized rock dust and all kinds of other very small particles and if you have thousands of these or hundreds or even thousands of these then it will recreate the chicxulub impact scenario the whole planet is shrouded in darkness there is no sunlight for months even years what does that do very rapid climate change very rapid in, in like matter of days all the heat disappears snow everywhere ice everywhere everything is frozen most people living in the tropical regions will die in a matter of hours those who survive may not last a week or two then there is a immediate shortage of food all your livestock animals start dying all the trees start dying all the forests start dying and then who survives maybe 1% 2% of humanity survives after a month or two after a year that is the incredible disaster that a nuclear winter is how will people live i wonder how they will live everything will be frozen there will be no light there will be no food sources telecommunications gone satellites no longer work electricity doesn't exist communication supply chains all gone trade over 
nations no longer exist populations decimated so if anyone survives it's going to be like 1 or 2% of humanity it is going to be an extinction event most species on the planet of animals fish etc will die out that is what a nuclear winter is maybe humanity could could go extinct if this happens so that is why a nuclear war is an unthinkable unthinkable disaster we never want it to happen that's how bad it is that's how bad a nuclear winter is it most likely leads to the extinction of humanity itself life will not disappear from the planet life will continue after a year or two after 5 years whatever sunlight recur, uh, returns to the planet depending on how many nuclear warheads were were used sunlight will eventually return and some life will persist and then it will start thriving again after decades centuries whatever a new species will, will emerge but we who did this most likely won't survive so that's why you know nu- world war 3 and nuclear war it's 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 the last thing we want